Uh, we'll start with, um, okay, here's a question for you. Okay. So how does an American Idol contestant end up with a traditional mixed Southern Gospel quartet? Very interesting question. Uh, you, you probably never heard that question before, have never, you? Never, never. <laughs> I don't answer that night after night. Uh, well, I've always been a fan of the Perrys. First thing that attracted me to the group was their music, the songs that they chose. Very powerful songs. And so I've been, my dad uh, sang gospel music for years, so I grew up listening to the Perrys and listening to several other different groups. Uh, but I always had a respect for their music and for them as people. And uh, honestly, from the American Isle stage to here, I got a chance to fill in for Joseph Habedank whenever he got married back in June of 2010. And so there was a kind of a partnership created there. We got to know each other and got to travel with each other. Tracy says night after night, you think you know somebody until you get to travel with them. You travel with them for a weekend or two, and you really get to know them real quick. So, uh, but we got to see each other's hearts and get to know each other, and it just there was a and pretty much an immediate bond there. So, so you have Southern Gospel in your uh, history, yeah. Your, your at least be your dad. So talk a little bit about that. Well, my dad uh, was a great tenor singer, still is a great tenor singer to this day, but. He sang with uh, the Anchorman, singing Americans Quartet as well, and uh, ended up actually with uh, the Kingdom Marriage over at Dollywood. That's the reason why I still live in Sevierville uh, today. Uh, we moved there about when he got the job with the Kingdom Marriage. So um, I've grown up around it. Grew up singing with him and my brother, and uh, still to this day, every once in a while, sing with him and my my mom as well. So, uh, but yeah, it's been a been a great experience. Just growing up around it, loving it, and. Uh, I, I tell people a lot I grew up on a bus in a lot of ways because there were chances I got to go with my dad and I just fell in love with it. What was your vocation at the time that you got the call from the Perrys? Well, I was a police officer in Sevierville, Tennessee. I'd been there for a little over two years whenever I got the call uh, from Libby and Tracy to uh, I wanted to come and sing baritone for the group. And uh, of course I was ecstatic. I was actually in the middle of a call. Uh, I was actually on my way to actually make a traffic stop when Tracy called me. So uh, he heard some interesting things in the background whenever he gave me that phone call. So, but uh, yeah, that was their lucky day. I didn't didn't write a ticket that day. Luckily, I stopped everything and just kind of stopped and had a conversation with Tracy. So, yeah. But it was uh, yeah. But I was a police officer. I'd been there about two and a half years, and uh, it was just a great experience. Uh, that whole thing really, I guess, matured me in a lot of ways to be prepared for this opportunity and going through the American Idol experience in the middle of that uh, just was a major major adjustment and challenge for me too. So so how far did you go, go up the American Idol chain? I made it to the top 50 of the American Idol experience. So, so you went to Hollywood and all I that? I did. Made it all the way through Hollywood week to the last day. Uh, they make the last cuts there to go to the top 24 and I got cut right before that. So you were in the big room with a bunch of other folks when somebody yeah, walked. Uh, so who was it that walked in and gave gave you your news? Well actually all four judges walked okay. in. It was uh, Simon Cowell, uh, Cara DiGuardi, Ellen DeGeneres, and Randy Jackson. And all four judges walk in. Uh, Simon was actually the one who gave us the news, uh, which of course it was bad news. But uh, at the time, I thought it was really bad news. But uh, later on down the road, obviously you see God's will and what He really wanted for your life, and it was probably the best news I'd gotten in a long time. Cool. So.